Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the .env Rails gem. .env Rails is used, as the name implies, in conjunction with a file aptly named .env to hold environment variables. Environment variables are often like configurations or some kind of private key that you need to have available throughout your app but don't want it to be in a place that's git tracked. And this is often important for if you're publishing something to a public repository and you want most of your code to be out there, but you want to keep your username and password or public and private keys um, from being sent out to the world in line with the rest of your code. What we have here is a basic Rails app with users scaffolded, nothing special going on there. And I'm just going to show you how to get .env Rails going so that you can work securely. So in the gem file add .env Rails and bundle and I'm gonna have to kill the server because it'll need to reload. So what you need to do is make a new file in the root of your project folder and just call it .env. And if we go refresh folders, you can see it's shown up right there. And we're going to call, or we're going to make a variable called super secret. And it's going to equal our password, for example, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Password, yay. So we now have this, and we'd also want to add it to the git ignore file so that it doesn't get added to any repositories that get published. And from here, you can now access this in line anywhere else if you load the super secret variable. So I'll show you how that works. We'll go into the users controller and we'll add it to the index action because that's this page that we have here. So we're going to say at secret equals env brackets single quotes and then super secret. And so at runtime when this controller is in action, when the index action gets hit, the at secret variable will be set to this. And to show that in the real world, we'll go ahead and insert that here for you. Let me get that Rails server going again. And you'll see, there it is. It's a very simple, very straightforward thing to incorporate into your app. It makes things much more secure. I've had a lot of a lot of success using it in the past for uh, I think one of the most common ones is like when you're integrating a third party app and you need to have it needs to have credentials entered to, into it at runtime so that you can get a token, for example. Um, I found .env Rails to be extremely helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.